What's going on with you guys? Jeff Lexi Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thanks for all the support. Continue to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. Now we're here to talk about the Lakers. They lost to the Portland Trail Blazers 193 last night. Uh, Damian Lillard, 34 point performance. Uh, Anthony Davis had 28. LeBron had a triple double of 20, what is 23, 15, and 15, something like that. What is, let me pull up the stats. He had 23, 17, and 16. And the Lakers still somehow lost. Uh, here's So the question is, should the Lakers be worried? Because there was a growing, and there still is a growing list of people that believe Portland will beat the Lakers in a six or seven game uh, series. They think it'll take them to six or seven games and beat them. And there's, I mean, Charles Barkley went as far on TV to say that they're going to sweep the Lakers. Here's the thing. Should the Lakers be worried? No, they shouldn't. Uh, what's just going to happen is what's happened his, essentially his entire career. LeBron James is just going to have to dominate. Uh, he had 20, you know, you're like, Jeff, he had 23, 16, and 17. He dominated last night. No, no, he didn't dominate. He had a nice triple-double. Uh, I think it was, it was the first triple-double ever, a 2015-15 style triple-double. Uh, uh, clap it up. That's cute. Whatever. This isn't the team that you need to have 17 assists against. Uh, this this team, this Lakers team, isn't the team that that's going to win with LeBron having 17 assists. Uh, the Portland much rather LeBron have 17 assists than 37 points. Because the thing is, Portland cannot guard LeBron James. Gary Trent can't guard LeBron James. Carmelo was probably the best defender when guarding LeBron last night. But they still can't guard them. Uh, the, the thing what Portland has to their advantage is they have Hassan Whiteside in the middle. Uh, Hassan Whiteside had uh, five blocks. And that is big because he clogs the lane and he challenges every shot at the rim. Now, he also had a bunch of fouls. But that's, the, that's what LeBron can exploit. The fact that he can attack Hassan Whiteside, attack his body, and force that man into foul trouble. Now, he's going to block some shots. Hassan is going to block shots because that's what he does. He's a great shot blocker. He's a great defender at the rim. And you can't count on Anthony Davis. It's, coming, it's becoming more and more clear that second halves of basketball games – isn't Anthony Davis forte? He's never had. He's never played winning basketball in his whole entire NBA career, and so it's kind of hard to rely on him in the fourth quarter. Anthony Davis had 21 points in the first half. He finished the game with 27 points, 28 points. He only had seven points in the second half and missed two crucial, crucial free throws late in the game. And then, not to mention. He only shot 8 for 24. <laughs> he shot 8 for 24 from the field. He didn't have a great shooting game. He got most of his did most a lot of his damage at the free throw line and then towards the end in the clutch crunch time, he and LeBron both went up there and clanked two free throws a piece. So they clanked four free throws total. Uh so LeBron, I mean let's, let's be real. I think Anthony Davis for the first half is going to give you a great game. Even maybe even the third quarter, but you can't rely on him in the fourth quarter. And in this backcourt, you can't rely. I mean, the Lakers shot five for 32 from three. That's why the 17 assist thing doesn't work. They shot 35% from the field. 35% from the field. That's why, that's why 17 assists doesn't work because this team doesn't have scores. People that can put ball in the, ba the, ball in the basket. Think, think about how hard it is to get 17 assists on a team that shot 35%. Like, just imagine that. You got 17 assists, so that means 17 times somebody actually scored the basketball, right? Think about all the times they met. If, if, if they shoot, I don't know, 38% like Portland or 40%, LeBron might have had 22 or 25 assists, right? That's why, like, so LeBron is going to have to go. He's going to have to play more like Kobe and Jordan than like Magic Johnson. See, the thing about Magic Johnson, he played the way he played because he had Kareem. He had James Worthy. He had Byron Scott, guys that could put the ball in the basket. But see, Kobe and Jordan were the guys that put the ball in the basket. And in this series in particular, and, and especially, and maybe even for the duration of the playoffs, LeBron is going to have to go into his Kobe and Jordan bag and leave Michael, my, uh, Magic Johnson at home. He's going to tap into Michael Jordan and Kobe and leave Magic at home because this team isn't the team to dish out a bunch of assists. Yeah, the Blazers will more than gladly let let Danny Green shoot. 4 for 12 Danny Green or 0 for 9 KCP. Think about this. The Lakers starting backcourt went 4 for 21. <laughs> 4 for 21 from the field. KCP had one more point than me and you. 
He had one point in the game. That's it. Like, come on, man. Come on. How, how many minutes does this man play? This man, KCP, played 29 minutes and had one point. Kuzma, who's supposed to, who LeBron said they need to be the third option, shot 5 of 14 and took some bad shots. A lot of bad shots. Oh, <laughs> not to mention, started getting cooked. And the thing about the Lakers, the thing that, the reason why it's so frustrating, because the Lakers had a chance, because Damian Lillard, he played great at the beginning. But for about two and a half quarters, he was nowhere to be found. And then late in the fourth quarter, he cut it on, right? The Lakers, the, the Blazers outscored the Lakers 19-6 to six in the fourth quarter. LeBron, you, he get, he got too passy, got too cute with his passes too and created some turnovers or, or because he was too cute with the passes and guys weren't ready for it. Forget all that, man. You can't rely on Markeith Morris and Danny Green and, and, and KCP and Kuzma, LeBron. You're just going to have to take this series over. And the, and the reason why they, they shouldn't be wary is because he can do that. Right? Like, if this if this series was solely dependent on Anthony Davis, the Lakers should be in trouble because they'd be in trouble. They should be worried because they would be in trouble. But because they have Mr. LeBron James on their team, and he can take over games. We've seen it for years. He can take over the games scoring. We've seen it. We we have a we have 17 years worth of evidence. He can take over game scoring is why the Lakers shouldn't be worried. LeBron, but he's gonna have to do it because 17 assists ain't gonna cut it in these playoffs with this team. Uh, I also think they need to play Deion Waiters more. I think Deion Waiters can give you better than one for six, Mr. Caruso. Caruso played 29 minutes and and was one for six. Deion's better than that. Deion Waiters is better than Caruso. I think J.R. Smith may be better than Caruso. Uh, they're once again they're not guys that are that are going to uh, b uh, play amazing defense on Damian Lillard. Caruso is going to give you energy and chase Lillard around, but I mean that wasn't too much. The man still had thirty four points, so at least Dion and J.R. are going to get you some buckets. Those are guys that are going to get you buckets. KCP is not a bucket getter. Zero for nine, he's not a bucket getter. Danny Green. Went two for what two for eight from threes? That that you don't get paid fifteen million years to go two for eight from threes, um, and, and it's not like the Blazers are these world beaters on defense, right? The Blazers aren't the best defensive teams. They just gave up one hundred thirty points, you know, in these playing games, these playoff games to get in the playoff. So the uh, Lakers is gonna have to, they're gonna have to find some the guys. Gotta make shots because they had open looks. They're gonna have to make shots, and if they don't. Uh, LeBron James is just going to have to take over. 17 assists ain't going to cut it. You need to be around uh, 30 to 35 points a game. Uh, Anthony Davis, seven points in the second half. That ain't going to cut it, man. It show the NBA why you are a top five player. If you believe that you are a top five player, and a lot of people believe Anthony Davis is a top five player, show the league why you are a top five player. Now, I want to see it because seven points in the second half, you know, disappearing in the fourth quarter, that, that, ain't, that ain't top five material. Uh, once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.